What can you tell screenwriters about selling their screenplay? Um, that it's hard. Uh, that um, to do to, to sell your screenplay today, uh, the the easiest way to do it um, is to well, there's three ways. One is to make a short from your movie. Shorts are sort of becoming the most powerful calling card to get financing, to get seen, and they're almost free. If you can make a short, and I have a, at How Movies Work, I, I have a class on how to make a short, and there's a lot of rhythms in a short movie that you don't have anywhere else. You got to be able to make a short from your script, um, from your feature script, to do it. But if you can, if you can do a 10 minute short of your script, you can put it up on a website like Thunder Shorts. Um, there's, there's several of them. And this is where sales agents today go. I was at a, on a panel with sales agents the other day. All they do now, to, they don't even go to film festivals anymore. They just go onto these websites for shorts and they troll them and they look for really great short movies that often come from feature link scripts. And that's how they often buy a story. So that's one great way to sell your script. Make a short from it. If you can't make a short story from it, chances are your script itself isn't going to be very good. That's one way. Um, the other way is just to um, work the circuit, which is to uh, uh, send this to the agents, to send this to, and don't worry anybody's going to steal your idea. That's a beginner's worry as well. Nobody's going to steal your idea. Chances are very unlikely because uh, ideas are a dime a dozen. It is your execution of them that makes the story valuable. Not the fact you've come up with this amazing high concept. Uh, it's generally, that's, that's not the important part of your story. It's how the story plays out and is executed. So you send them to, um, you, send, you send your scripts to agents, you send your scripts to uh, producers, you send your script to the studios. You do it that way. Getting an agent, it, it's, it's really important. Look, there were more features made last year than ever. There were 600 features made last year. That's more than there's ever been made, more than ever been released in Hollywood. So it's a myth that the feature world is dying, but it is increasingly difficult to get a independent type movie, like a drama or a small movie, financed by the studios um, or even by the independents. Um, they, they, they buy them at Sundance or now they buy them from websites. So you have to work around the fact that the traditional ways in which independents were bought, you know, it doesn't happen that much anymore. But you still need to send them out. You still need to email your script. You still need to get it patented uh, with the Library of Congress or through the Writers Guild and just send it out. Send it out. The more you send it out, uh, the, the better chances you are someone's going to see it. The last way to do it is to interest a star, especially if you're making a smaller movie. A movie that a lot of the people that probably are coming to these conferences want to make a personal movie, a cool movie the, about real life, a drama. Stars get these made. Um, you know, uh, I, I was involved in the development of a book that was, um, was never going to make a movie uh, uh, until um, Brad Pitt. Uh, it was a very uh, unusual story and, and it wasn't even very good, but it had a great premise. Uh, when Brad Pitt got interested in it because he was sent uh, this story, uh, then for the next three years, he just saw it through uh, several directors, a couple of producers, finally Scott Rudin took it, and they made a, a fantastic movie of it. So getting a star interested in your, your quirky story is a great way. To get, and how do you do that? You just send it to the, to the star's agent. Go to IMDb Pro. You'll see a general email for most of these production companies. It's a myth, by the way, that Hollywood doesn't read stuff that they get over the transom and that's like, it's a myth. Because you know who gets that script when at the company? This bored intern chained to their desk for nine hours a day and wanting nothing more than to get away from that desk by finding the next cool project. Chances are, if you send that script in, even if they go, we never read them. Well, we just turn them right around. It's, our, it's litigation. We can't read them. I'm telling you, because I, I teach a lot of those people at UCLA Extension, often they do read those scripts. So, and what do you have to lose by sending them into those production companies? Nothing. So what they, they say, they turn them around. A lot of times they read them anyway. That's, that's just the truth.